Namaste, this is Samta Auntie. In this video, we are going to review how to conjugate verbs in Hindi in present tense. And how about we make this fun? Let's pretend that you are a young Padawan. Padawan is Star Wars talk for student. So you are a Padawan along with Rey and Luke Skywalker. And Master Yoda is your teacher. And he says, Come, my young Padawans, study verbs through the force we will. Master Yoda wants you to be able to say sentences such as, I play with a ball, and I speak over six million languages, and I fly the Millennium Falcon. Well, you're going to need to know how to use verbs in order to say these sentences. So let's start by reviewing what a verb is. You know how there are types of games like video games, sports games, and board games? Well, there are also types of words. A verb is a type of word. But what type? An action word. A verb is an action word. For example, to run is a verb. The action is run. To fly is a verb. The action is fly. To read is a verb. The action is read. Verbs tell us what a person or a thing is doing, such as, I run fast. What's the action? What's the word that tells us what he's doing? Run. Let's do another one. I fly speeders. Which word tells us what she's doing? Fly. And another one, I read a lot. Which word tells us what he's doing? Read. So those are our verbs, run, fly, and read. Now that we understand what verbs are, let's talk about verbs in Hindi. To eat in Hindi is kana. I want you to notice the last two letters in this. Kanna ends with a n. To play is kelna. Again, look at those last two letters. It ends with a n. To run is bhagna. And again, it ends with a n. To sing is gana. And what do you think? Does it end with a n? Yes, it does. And nachna is to dance, and of course it ends with a n. So all Hindi verbs end with a n. But we don't want to just know the words, we want to use these words in sentences. And in order to do that, there are two things that we have to do. Number one is to use your lightsaber to remove the n. You have to use your lightsaber and chop off that na from the end of the verb. Remember how all verbs had a na at the end? Well, again, the first thing we have to do is remove it. So kana becomes ka. Kelna becomes kel. Bagna becomes bag. Gana becomes ga. Nachna becomes notch. But the thing is that now these words are incomplete and they are unbalanced. And Master Yoda says, I sense a disturbance in the force. Bring balance back, must we? So if we have to bring balance back, that means we have to add a new ending to each of the verbs. The new endings are tha, or thi. That means that we are going to add either a tha or a thi to the ending of the unbalanced verb. Let's see what that would look like. To eat is kana. So now use your lightsaber to chop off the na. We're left with ka. So now ka can become either kata or 
See how we added a tha at the end or a thi at the end to make two new words, ka tha or ka thi. Let's do another one. To play is kelna. You're going to use your lightsaber to chop off the na and we're left with kel. So now kel can become kel tha or kel thi. To run is bhagna. Again, use that lightsaber to chop off the na, and we're left with bhag. So now bhag can become bhagta or bhagti. So the question Luke and Ray, and that you should have too, is if there are two new words, what's the difference? How do you know when to use each of these? Well, the tha ending is for males and thi is for females. So tha is for males, thi is for females. So if we have the verb kanna, it's going to become ka tha for the boy and ka thi for the girl. Let's look at another one. The tha ending again is for male and thi for female. So we have the verb kelna. So for the boy, it becomes kelta, and for the girl, it becomes kelti. Now let's do bhagna. So bhagna means to run, and again, the tha ending is for boys, the thi ending is for girls. So it becomes bhagta and bhagti. This process of changing the verb is called conjugation. And this is an important part of learning Hindi and any other language that you learn. Conjugation is in pretty much every language, and it's a really important part to be able to speak a language. And now that you know the first steps of conjugation, you can apply this to any Hindi verb. And there are a lot of verbs in Hindi. That's the beauty of this. By knowing these rules and how to do this, you can take those rules and apply them to any verb. And as you can see on this page, there are a lot of verbs. And remember, you have learned the basics of verb conjugation in present tense. What does present tense mean? It means events happening now in the present, or it can mean things that you do currently. For example, I sing Bollywood songs, and I learn karate, or I eat pizza every week. You aren't necessarily doing those things right now, but these are a part of your life right now. So there are things that are part of your life currently. So now that we've done all of that, let's review everything that we've learned today. So we talked about what a verb is. It's an action word, a word that tells us what someone or something is doing. We learned that in Hindi, verbs end with na. We also learned that to use verbs in sentences, there are two things that we have to do. First, use your lightsaber to remove the na. And we're left with these incomplete words. And we have to bring balance back to the force by giving each word a new ending. And that's the second thing we have to do. We have to conjugate the verb by adding tha or thi to the end of it. And again, tha is for males and thi is for females. Great work. Now you know the first steps of present tense verb conjugation in Hindi. Keep practicing this. Danyavad for joining me. I'll see you in class.